All right, so what we'll do in this example, uh, this is very similar to a uh, another op uh, another project I worked on, uh, or a tutorial we did with all the, um, we did Project Curve, okay, as a unified tool path uh, now in 2023 and newer. Uh, we have the option, I'm still in 2022, but I showed that. Uh, but let's do this with Curve. Uh, curve is sort of like the contour in the multi-axis gallery. So what I want to do is I can't, project curve uh, anymore. We already did that. So curve will do, we'll follow this geometry, but it has to be down in the surface. So let's turn a lot of this off, okay? And then let's go into um, our transform, project. Okay, I wanna select the writing, hit end selection. And I'm gonna project to this surface, hit end selection. Okay, so now if you look, The writing is now on the workplace, we projected it down. Okay? So we can turn everything else on for now. Okay, in a minute we'll probably turn it off just to, for chain selection. Now we can go to tool pass, we can go into the multi-axis gallery and select curve. Okay. Same tool as the other example. Cut pattern, you'll see this is a lot more limited, okay, than before, than uh, the unified tool path. Uh, but right now we're gonna go to 3D curves, go to the selection. And then what I'm going to do is go to levels and I'm going to turn off pretty much everything but the 2D geometry. Using the window, I'm going to select all the lettering and select the start point and hit green check. I'm going to turn the compensation off like we would with contour to engrave. I'm not worried about radial offset. I uh, want to go to zero for now. I lied. Uh, tool axis control, I'm going to go into a surface. Uh, performance 5 axis, everything here should be okay. Collision control, um, I, I, I forgot we gotta add the surface here. So we gotta go into our part and just select the top surface and selection. Um, tip control, all right, Pro on projection curves what we want, the vector depth go will go minus 10 thousandths, all right? Everything else should be okay, we'll see how it looks. All right, we'll hit green check. All right, looks okay. We have some more movement. Okay, uh, overall I don't see any major issues. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of some of this jumpiness in the program that's going to be in our linking parameters. So we're getting a linking, entry exit's not even on. So clearance went up going to 2 inches. Only to start in operation, retract half feet, play 100 thousand, that's fine. Um, we got to make sure we're not going to glide at all, so we'll, we'll leave that there. Collision control, like I said, is limited. We could put check surfaces in um, on some of the tooling. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Let's hit green check. And... Um, Assuming you did project curves first, let's go ahead and go into machine simulate. And uh, that means your machine will already be set up, the tooling will be on the table and things like that after the first video. Or the first, uh, again, the first portion here. So let's go to machine, turn that on. Okay, it looks pretty good. All right, so let's watch this one run. All right, it's gonna look similar, a little bit different movement, but it should pretty much have the same results, okay, as far as the part itself. It's just another way to do it. Um, project curve, I think, is a lot more seamless, but you can trace anything with curve. You could trace the outside of this workpiece. Um, it is the contour of the multi-axis gallery, that's my opinion. So that's essentially, um, I just want to show you two ways to do that uh, project curve and then using the actual curve toolpath. Um, again, that is the first toolpath here. You could do a lot with that. Again, it's only a broken record, but think of contour and what you would do with contour and that will help you understand what curve is for. Uh, so there's different cut patterns, Com cutter compensation could be on. Um, it's probably not going to be 41 or 42, it's going to be more computer. Um, unless you have 3D cutter comp or something I'm not aware of. Um, I've never seen any sort of compensation on the 5-axis machine. Usually there's always computer comp that I have seen um, with any simultaneous movement, but you know, correct me in the comments if you know different. Tool axis control, nothing there. Collision control, nothing there. Linking, I'm not noticing. There's roughing as far as your multi-passes versus depth of cuts. Filtering, um, then of course your additional settings, uh, your planes, your coolant, etc. Um, so anyway, that's it for this one. I just want to show you another way to do that. That kind of goes with the project curve uh, to make sure that I cover 
really, they're kind of the two simplest in my opinion. I know Project Curve can get kind of, you can do more with that. Um, you could also do more with Curve. But Project Curve and Curve, and I know we're unified, but again, this is going to be gone. So they're sort of the basics, in my opinion, um, to drive, you know, multi-axis motion. Um, in future videos, I'll get into Morph and Parallel um, that I, I use them quite often. And in Swarf, um, I end up using the um, Swarf application more. Um, but that's all, again, what, you know, what kind of parts you're making, uh, etc. Also, Deburr is, is very powerful. So, um, and those are sort of the simultaneous passes that I like to use. The pocketing I use a lot for roughing. Um, and 3 plus 2 auto I've seen some videos on, but I have not had a chance to get it, uh, to use that yet. Um, so, you know, again, you don't have to use all these. A lot of people get away with curve, swarf, morph, um, and pocketing for a lot of work. Um, but some people don't. It depends on the work pieces you have to make. Uh, so anyway, that's enough uh, talking. Uh, that was just a quick uh, addition to the uh, other video I just did on the same workpiece and the same setup. So hopefully you'll get two options or two ways um, to create that geometry. And also we just covered project uh, in the transform area. So anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for watching.